So in this video, I do a fuel pressure test on a 1972 Mercedes 350 SL. This is for the Bosch DJtronic system. I'll do a similar test for KJtronic in a future video. So this is the fuel pressure tester that I used. It's uh, in of a 3640 and recommended by another YouTuber. You can use a variety of different testers for this, but the most important thing is it has an adapter that's designed to uh, connect to a, a rubber fuel hose because the DJ installation on the Mercedes obviously is quite old. It doesn't have a test valve uh, or shader valve or anything like that. You've just got to pull out the rubber hose normally from the cold start injector and insert your pressure tester uh, into it. Now, in this particular kit, it only seemed to come with a double-ended um, rubber hose adapter. So rather than use the cold start injector, which is just a single pipe, I actually connected it in effectively in series in the main uh, fuel rail to read the pressure that way. I don't think it makes any difference which way uh, you do it. Now to relieve the fuel pressure to uh, while well, I connect up the uh, pressure gauge, I'm actually going to disconnect the fuel pump because although the correct way to do this is to remove the fuel pump relay. The relays on this car are really difficult to get in and out of their uh, connectors and I don't really want to damage them, so I'm just going to disconnect the fuel pump. Okay, good. Uh, didn't start, so that's fine. Um, if it might start, there's a bit of residual fuel pressure in the system. If that's the case, just let it run and let it die uh, before connecting your, uh, your gauge. So depending on what clamps you have, you'll probably want a little um, socket to undo them. Uh, mine is 7mm. I'm not sure if that's original. They look kind of newer to me, but it's better to use a, a socket than a, a screwdriver on these. It just allows them to get tighter and less likely to slip. So uh, it's going to get a cloth. Um, just to catch any residual fuel and then we'll undo this pipe bit. Right, yes, so let's see one, one piece of hose on the end of your thing. And I'm just going to pull the hose, I'm just going to put a clamp there. Okay. The ones in the kit are, uh, oh, it's obviously feels like some kind of imperial size actually. Let's, uh, I will have to, I'm gonna have to use a screwdriver for that one because that's an imperial size and I don't think I've got an imperial size that's small. Um, yeah, I'm gonna disconnect it here in the line because that's a bit easier to get to than the, than the connection at the distributor. So, let's go just a little bit of fuel to come out of there that's fine there's not you know obviously there was no pressure in there otherwise it would come splurging out it's just a bit of residual fuel but obviously not enough for the car to start um so now we want to put one end of our hose from the kit just going to get my clamp that over there and then rest that in put that back onto the rail shove it up as far as it'll go a good inch or so position the clamp and then we're going to take our other end of the hose on the on the rail, stick it in the other end of the kit. Um, okay. Here we go. I'm just going to put a, leave the cloth there just in case. We get any leakage we shouldn't do those are all nice and tight rest the gauge in a suitable location all right now we reconnect the fuel pump okay fuel pump is reconnected i'm just gonna do another check of the hoses here okay let's go Oh, 
side, uh, 35 uh, PSI. And then we want to leave it for say an hour or so just to see how well it keeps the pressure. So obviously it'll drop a little bit when you first uh, switch off, but it, it shouldn't disappear completely. Um, it should stay like that for a, for a good hour or so at least. Yeah, so I think we are experiencing some leakage because this is only about 15 minutes later and it's already way down. So I think we might need some new injector seals. You could also tell when the um, air box is off, the engine makes quite a severe kind of sucking noise. And I think that might be air being sucked in either past the injector seals or uh, somewhere else in the in the circuit. But they're certainly the prime prime suspect. So I've just squirted off the excess pressure just into a cloth here. Um, this comes out of there. You should really, if the, if, the, if your pressure's held up well, then get a, um, a receptacle for that to catch it. Uh, because the pressure on this one had already dropped to just like 15, I just squirted what little was left in there um, into the cloth, but normally quite a, a large jet should, should come out of that. So yeah, just got to disconnect uh, this and then uh, reconnect uh, this guy to the other end of the fuel rail.